Hi guys and welcome. Today is Saturday, June 17th. And for some reason, my window uh Windows update is still running. So I don't know if that's what was causing my problems yesterday on my uh finish it Friday, but today it's just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. So going old fashioned and just doing it straight off of my phone again. So today we're going to go over the bundle. So refreshing. Now, when I got this, I wasn't so sure about it. Um, but I saw some great examples, so I decided to get it. So it's an 18-piece stamp set. It's photopolymer, so you're going to need your piercing mat. And then it is 17 uh, dies also. So let's go ahead. Let me get out my piercing mat from over here. I haven't recovered it, so it's going to be kind of icky looking. You know what? Maybe I'll use one of my smaller ones. I'll use one of my smaller ones. How about that? Okay. I have to replace this grid paper. I have to replace both of my mats. Got to replace that. They all look really horrible. All right. Anyway, so let me grab a piece of cardstock. Let me grab a basic white from over here on the side. And I'm going to cut it down into quadrants. That way, when I go to run them through the cut and boss machine, it'll be a little bit easier. So I'm just going to get this to my panels. That way I have some over here ready to go. All right. So let's grab out my memento. And let's start in with some blocks. Let's just get a few blocks out, kind of all sizes. That way, hopefully we have everything covered. All right, that should be enough for now. All right, so let's go ahead and start with it. Let's start with the words. Let's go ahead and put these all down. There's quite a few word sayings in here. We'll just do those two as one, and we'll do this one over here. So let me grab out my memento. And again, I haven't run these through my, I haven't roughed them up on my brown paper sack. So they're probably not going to look the greatest. Let me see. Not so bad. All right, so there's two of the words. I'm going to put them on this for now, just so I know. And then uh, the other words here. All right, there we go. So there's the words. Then we have some two-step stamping. You know what? So I'm going to grab out, let me grab out Daffodil Delight and Lemon Lolly, since everything reminds me of lemonade with this. So let's go ahead and do this. So here you have your outline. Ooh. Sorry. Had a little, we've had rain. We've had rain one day out of uh, like a hundred some. And so I had my windows open yesterday and I think I let a couple of ants in. Anyway, all right. So let's go ahead for the outline. We will do this glass. For the inside, let's do on this one, Daffodil Delight. There's that. So that's that two-step stamping. Let's go ahead and do the picture now. I might have to go to the next one. So here's the picture. And then with the picture, 
we have this inside. I'm not sure if I got that lined up really good because I'm trying not to get my head in the shot. Since I don't have my computer going, I can't really tell if I'm in my head's in the shot or not. Okay. So then with that, you also have uh, this handle. So let's go ahead. You know what? No. Let me clean that off real quick. Oh, my computer, maybe it's finally resetting itself. It just went to a blank screen. Sorry. This one I'm going to do in copper clay. Again, I'm not trying to get my head in there, so I'm hoping I get it somewhat. I uh, probably should have stamped that off once. Yeah, we we'll, we we'll would look better. All right. So anyway, so that's I guess so you can have like a colored picture. You could have like a blue picture, picture, uh, any of that good stuff. So let me go ahead. I don't think these. Oh, these are kind of wet. Let me get some of that off because that's a lot of color on that one. All right. Now let's go ahead. We're going to do the outline. Of the flowers. Let's do the inside of the flowers. The inside of the flowers, I think I'm going to do with lemon lolly. Let's see how that looks. All right. And I'm going to, hopefully I'm still in the frame, I'm trying to match that up as much as I can without getting my head in there. Oh, very pretty. All right. So that's the lemon lolly. So that's the outline and the inside this all right i'm thinking this goes around yes this should be done in green but i'm going to just do it in the memento so i'm trying to see i'm thinking hmm did i do it upside down oh it looks like i did it upside down maybe Go on there. Yes. So I st I did that upside down. So I'm going to have to put a little arrow on that stamp set just to tell me which way is up. I guess if I would looked at the catalog, I would have seen that. All right, so we have that one. And then what do we have left here? We have a bunch of, and I'm just going to do these in the yellow because these have a bunch of, oh, these are leaves. So I'll put those two together. So we have a bunch of little accoutrements. I don't know. Looks like stuff that can go inside of your glass or inside of the pitcher. So we have, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's the top of the cup. Oh, I think that's the top of the glass. It is. Okay. So we have like a little lemon, lemons, they could be limes you did in green, the slice, the top of the cup, it looks like, and some ice cubes. All right. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the leaves. And yes, I'm going to do them in yellow, even though we all know leaves are green. Well, except... At the very end of fall, I guess then they could be yellow, yellow, red, orange. All right. 
So that's all the stamps. Let me go ahead and put these on my side table here. I'll have to clean them all off. All right. So now let's go. Oh, wait, I forgot one. Oh, look, it's the inside of the lemons. Let me get out. Yeah, I guess I should have felt that. And I didn't count. Usually I count. I didn't count, so I didn't know I was missing one. So there we go. There's the inside of the lemons. All right. So there you are with that. Let's go to these die cuts. Now, most of them look like they can go through the baby. So I didn't use that one. So let me put that one back in the drawer and shut that. So let me grab over the baby. Bring over all my baby plates. All right. So what I'm going to do on this is let me find oh my goodness. All right, so this is Glorious Gingham. Now, I'm hoping this is still in the main catalog. I'm hoping this wasn't from last catalog. I thought I pretty much cleared everything up and redid my shelves, but you never know with me. So let's see. All right, good. Glorious Gingham. Phew. Because we had one very similar to that last year where it was a two-sided. But this is Glorious Gingham. It is not. It is one-sided, same colors. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go ahead. I'm going to cut this one down just a little bit so it'll go through the baby. So I'm cutting that at three and a half and two and a half. All right. Now, I'm not going to say this is the only reason I bought it, but I really, really liked this uh, picnic blanket is what I will call it. So let's go ahead and put our one, three, put down our die. All right. Now, I'm hoping that... The baby's going to be nice to me. Sometimes it doesn't like to go through. Ah, there we go. All right. So that went through pretty nicely. And there is... Make sure that I'm in the camera. Yep. There is your blanket. Your picnic blanket. Okay. Let me put that back on there. I'm putting it over there. All right, let's start getting this out. And we'll show you all the things that match up to this. Except I have to cut it again. All right. So here's this. My upside down flower. So let's go ahead and put that... On the die, it should go. Oh, then I messed it up. Look at that. Of course, I didn't stamp the whole thing on. Some of my uh, stem is off. All right. I haven't used my baby in a while. All right. So there's the flower. Oops, I'm off on the stem. So uh, if you line up with the stem, I guess you're going to get the best results. I was a little off. Okay. See, now I cut that off there. All right. So we'll have that out. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> uh, icky throat. Let's go through that. That's, of course, going to be your picture. 
So we have your picture that goes like that. Best way to line this up is to look at this middle part here. Oops. There we go. Oh, would help if I had a cutting plate underneath it. All right. That wasn't going to cut at all, was it? All right, so let's try this again. I'm going to cut that off because, of course, it's going to get caught getting through. So let's go ahead, have that. Right, so that matches up to your stamp so that cuts that out but then you have this one that looks like it's all by itself here let me do something here real quick so see this one looks like it cuts all by itself this so it will go through okay all right so there's that see that one's completely it's a completely different picture than that completely different see they don't even line up so that's another one and it has a nice little slit there so you could put a straw through or something all right let's go ahead and throw away some of these scraps then you have let's see how many of these we can get on with the baby i don't like doing it because i let's see go there we'll use a little bit of blue tape Ugh. This is why I like my magnetic plate, even though we don't sell it anymore. Definitely enjoy that. All right, so let me hold on to there. We have that. We have your ice cubes. Let me grab another piece here. Oops. So there's your ice cubes. Let's see. Does this go around the circle? Around the lemon? It does. But there's an another circle. So I'm not sure. So we have this circle too. Maybe we just have two circles. All right, here's this for the lemons. This one I got really close to the edge, so we're probably going to have a really good, um, nice edge there. It's going to be flat. Um, and I think that's it for those. Oh, my goodness. Something just fell. I don't know what it was. I'll have to look in a second. All right. So here on this, so that one cuts out the circle. Here's your little ice cubes. Here's your lemons. Here's your actual. So I guess you could cut out two circles and then stamp afterwards. And then here's your other leaf. So all we have there that's not cut out is that little rim from the glass. Let me put that there. All right, so we have all those cut out. Put those off here to the side. And let's see, what do we have left? We have the glass. And again, it looks like we have two glasses. 
So I guess you can stamp twice, cut once. So they look like they're exactly the same. Then we have little strawberries. We have little ice cubes. That's all I'm going to put through for right now. Nothing to cut out the words. So those you will have to fussy cut. Am I still on camera? Yes, it looks like it. All right. So here we have the two glasses. Maybe that one I could have done a little better. If I got in my head in the shot, it would have been better. Then we have all these little ice cubes. Look at all those fun little ice cubes. And then we have little strawberries. And I don't know if you can see. Let me get... Let me bring it up really close so you can see. Can you see how there's embossing on there? All right. So all those little scritchies. Let's see. And now what do we have left? We have four left. So we have, this looks like it's little tiny flowers. This looks like it's a buckle of some sort. Hmm. We have, and this one. All right, I might have to, let's see, do I have a piece of scrap right here? All right, you know what? I'm gonna do this out of the scrap I have here. Let me see, let me cut a little piece off. All right, this might look a little better. All right, so then, because we have some leaves, so might as well do it in a color we can actually use. Close that up because now we're done cutting. All right. One, two, three, four. That's all on my magnetic plates for. The so these are just little. I don't know if you can see. They're just like. There's so much stack of electricity, they're going to fall off the plate. It's like. I don't know. Maybe they're parts of the fuzz of the uh, the rind. Then you have these leaves. This cuts out three of those leaves. There's that. And this looks like it's a buckle or a tag. I'm going to have to look online to see exactly what that is. Tune in tomorrow. I should have an answer for you. All right, guys. So that's everything from... The bundle, so refreshing. Come on back tomorrow, and we'll go ahead and show you some examples using it. We'll make one card, and we'll just show you some examples with already made cards. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, and have a great Saturday.